Hello again, and welcome back to Challington Valley. I am just on my way up to do a cultivating contract on Field 18. It is the only cultivating contract that has come up. So I'm just going to go with it. I have released the very cheap cultivator that we used. I had all these plans. I was going to spring for a slightly more expensive cultivator so that we, you know, got to use a variety of equipment um, and no other cultivating jobs have come up. So I'm, I'm just going to get this one done. I'm just going to use the cheap cultivator this over a bit that's better and yeah just chug through this job cultivating his contracts are one of those they pay out really poorly for the amount of work that you put into them because you are running up and down the field but it's, it's one of those things that's got to be done and I'm hoping that by doing a cultivating contract on this field we'll get some sowing contracts and other stuff coming up on other fields. I know there have been some issues with that when running things the way we're running. So we'll just see what comes up. I'm now in the fence. I'm not 100% sure this is road legal with these mower blades on the back of it. But we're just going with it. So I'm coming up to field 15. Once this car's passed, we'll be in. And we're going to mow it. My hope is that we will get a second cut out of it this year. So we will get two runs, two lots of the grass off it. The usual concert that is held here has been postponed this year. You can probably guess why. So that's not going to be taking place, but we'll still do the cuts of grass anyway. It helps us, it helps the neighbours, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, what we're going to do with this grass is we're going to make it into hay so that will involve leaving it out to dry in the sun um, what I'm going to do first though is after we've cut it I will come back and windrow it just so that it's already in the rows it will turn to hay in its windrows and then we can just come along and pick it up with a baler as soon as it's turned to hay. We don't have to go through that extra step. I'm probably going to lease a big windrower and stick it on the back of the T8 rather than trying to do a little one with the fence again. Just for economy of time, the fewer passes we make on the field windrowing, the fewer passes we make when we're baling.
Good morning everybody. As you would have seen from the footage last night, I windrowed field 15. Because it was so late last night and it was dark, the, it wasn't really very good for recording. So there's just a, a little, little bit of footage in there to show you that it happened. This morning, Susie and I have got up early and we have been mowing field 36 still in the process of being mowed as you can see just from the top corner there and unfortunately because we're quite early in the morning there's a lot of dew on the grass etc so it's coming up as wet grass so I am just running over it with a tedder which basically takes the, the grass and flings it up in the air and throws all the moisture off and abracadabra alakazam we've got dry grass which will then dry out to become hay it's a complicated procedure but I'm going to get this tedded and then we will leave it to its business a little bit through the hedge there nobody saw that it's fine I didn't just ted a hedge catch up with you in a bit This is a new view for me and for you. My goodness, was it perilous getting this through here? And I bet there's an easier way to have come from the other side. Okay, I squeezed past a house for nothing in this. So a contract came up for fertilizing on one of the really big fields and I could have just come could have used our fertilizer spreader that was perfectly okay with the guy but he did say well I've got a big hardy Rubicon sprayer if you want to use that and I have never used one of these before so I thought I'd have a go I'm in the hedge again. What is it with the hedges? So, yeah, we're just going to spray this field with this borrowed sprayer. Thought that would be quite fun. I've never used this before. You've never seen anything like this with me using it before. So, why not? We're going to lose a bit of money on the contract. We'll take a bit of a hit. We're not really doing this for the money. We don't. We're doing fairly well. That's a pylon up ahead. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, I skipped around the pylon. You didn't need to see that. I'm going to carry on with this and we'll catch up with you in a little while.
Okay, we're back doing that thing again with the digestate. Borrow the tanker from Farmer Jack. Um, this digestate is just sitting there. At the moment, we've got all of our fields well spread. Um, I might take a couple of tankfuls if we, we do some fertilising contracts over the summer. But all of our fields are done. So there's hundreds of thousands of litres of it just sitting here so I'm just going to sell just one tank full and uh, yeah I, th I think what we'll probably do is sell a tank full and that will allow us to buy some more land so we're kind of using it for good if there is such a thing Well, good morning again for the second time this episode we've jumped to the following morning the hay finally became hay at around about midnight so first thing this morning we jumped out and uh, grabbed the baler to come and get this hay baled up We've already done a trailer load over... Oh, that's just awful lining up, Adam. Oh, and the hay bales are... Right. Remind me to tell Susie to go into the fence, into the hedge, to pick that hay bale up. Susie's already done one trailer load of hay bales. They are back at the farm. And we're just seeing how many more we're going to get off from this field. Hello again, I've done field 15 and I'm now over at field 36, so we are right next to the cows who are mooing away grumpily because they're running out of food and I haven't come and mucked them out this morning yet, but I just, I really wanted this hay to get bailed up. You might have noticed the money has gone down from where we left it yesterday with the digestate. That is because there is a good chunk of money sitting with our solicitors waiting on the purchase of two new fields. So hopefully that will go through and we will be able to get onto those probably in the next episode. We have also decided to take the plunge and buy the Trial Hours New Holland. We've both really liked the tractor. We have enjoyed using it. Susie has enjoyed being warm when it's quite cold outside. I've enjoyed being warm when it's cold outside. Exactly what that means for the fence, I don't know. We will have a think and decide what's going to happen with the fence. Whatever happens, it will have a good home. Sorry, I'm just being really pernickety about getting as much of the hay as possible because I am going to be coming with the seed drill and going over field 36 because it's going to become a crop field. We'll have enough hay to go in the silo to go towards making total mix ration for the cows. 
We'll also have plenty of hay for the sheep who are on hay. And so I don't think we'll need the two fields when it comes to making silage. So field 15 should be plenty for our silage and we probably won't do quite as much silage at the biogas plant this time because we'll have plenty of our own fields to harvest and we won't need to do other people's baling contracts. That would be nice. Hello again, I'm just collecting up the final bales and I'm going to take them to our barn sell point at the farm here. We've already got two full trailers of bales, so I, I can't see us needing any more hay than that. So I just figured we'll just pop them in the sell point and make a bit of money from them, because there's no point in having all of the bales. We've got two trailer loads, that's plenty. So we'll just see what we get for them. A little bit of cash in the pocket, can't go wrong with that. Right, I've grabbed the seed drill and we're just heading over to field 120, which is one of our new purchases. It's currently a grass field, and I'm gonna just drill straight over the top of that with some alfalfa, which is basically grass, but it's a bit different grass. It looks very different. I think it yields quite differently as well. So we're just gonna give it a try, to be honest and we'll see what it's like. I should not have pulled out in front of him, sorry. Whoops. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna get on with sewing this off screen because I've done quite a bit of sewing. So, I will end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please do jump on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Share the video with all your friends. And most importantly, have a great day.